Okay, question eight. Uh, the diagram below shows two vertical buildings. So you've got the two purple pieces here. They're the buildings. Uh, this guy and this guy. Uh, a and B. Diagram not to scale. Mary stands at the top of building A. She's 220 meters above the ground. She wants to work out the distances marked uh, Y and Z in the diagram. That is the distance from the top of building A. So that's building A there to the bottom of building B. So they want to calculate how long that line is um, and the height of the building of B respectively. So she also wants to understand the height of building B. Okay, she measures the two angles that are marked 35 and 20 degrees in the diagram to the bottom of building B and the top of building B. The broken line is horizontal. So that means that that's the same as what's on the ground. So you've got a right angle there. Okay, uh, right. So work out the size of angle C. So where's angle C? It's down here on the ground. Okay, so we've got a right angle here. We've got 35 degrees here. And we've got a C here. So this one is straight forward. So it's a triangle. So we've got 180. Uh, so C is equal to 180, subtracting the 90 degrees, which is this fella here, uh, plus the 35 above uh, is equal to 180 minus 125, which is going to give me 55 degrees. So that's what C is. So that's the answer for the first part. Uh, is I'll just put it equals to C there. That's the answer for the first part. Mary works out that the horizontal distance between the two buildings is 154 meters, correct to the nearest meter as shown. The distance between the two buildings. So that's already in the diagram. It's down there. Okay. So we know now that the length of that side down there is 154, and we know that the length of the, the dotted horizontal line above is 50, 154 as well. Uh, okay, so that information is obviously going to be useful. Use the theorem of Pythagoras to work out the distance marked y. Okay, so we know that this angle here is a right, uh, right angle, and we know that this is 35. So we've got the 35, we've got the 154. Uh, so that's good. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem to help us with this. So what have we got? So we want to work out y. So Pythagoras, or the, the hypotenuse is y in this case. Okay, so, so y squared is equal we, we we want y of course but let's start with y squared so y squared is going to be 154 squared plus uh 220 squared because we've been given that height of building b so i can put in 220 there squared so that's a big number. What is that? Uh, when I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get 72,116. So to, to take that down, so y is going to be 22, using my calculator, the root of 149. So what is that value? It's 268.54. Um, and they want to correct to the nearest meter. So we're going to make that 269 meters. So y is equal to 269 meters. So that's our answer using Pythagoras. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the other two sides. Okay, so that is part B. Oops, uh, part C. Use trigonometry to work out the value of... Okay, last part. Use trigonometry to work out the value of Z, the height of the building. Let's go back to the diagram. So Z is the height of building B. 
Okay, so we know that building A is 220. So if I put a dashed line all the way over here, I can split this in two pieces. Um, so let's just call this second part Z1, which is between uh, this horizontal line and and the top. So Z in fact is equal to 220 plus Z1, which we don't know yet. Um, we've got a we've got a right angle here again. And we've got we know about 20 degrees so this guy here is the opposite so z1 is the opposite and we know that uh, this dotted line here is 154 because it's the same as the distance between a and b at the bottom so that's the adjacent okay so let's take that information down um so the opposite is equal to Z1. The adjacent is equal to 154. So if I go opposite over adjacent, and I know my angle, I can do a tan function on the angle to work out um, what the opposite is. So the tan of 20 degrees uh, equals Z1 all over 154 okay um which means this turns into 0.363 using the calculator 10 of 20 degrees 97 it's a long number now but i'm just going to use all of it keep it all oops uh zero equals z1 all over 154 so i want to get z1 of course uh, so z1 is equal to uh, using the calculator 56.05 so z going back to the diagram above is 220 plus z1 so I need to add Z is equal to 256 plus 220 to give me 276.05. But they've asked for the nearest meter. So I'm just going to leave that as 276 meters. So that's my answer for Z.